folks, Brian here. Uh, it's been a while since I've done videos. I've just been so busy with other stuff. So I've got a project today. And what I'm gonna do is I've been using this table to support my Cat Genie litter dispenser because these little granules of litter go everywhere. And my KitchenAid ice maker I use to fill my cooler and I keep it out here so the heat's not in my house. And yes, I live next to the airport. So there is a constant roar of jets and the gopro microphone is excellent at picking up jet noises instead of people anyway so i'm going to build a bench right here and i'm going to get all this junk out from under here and then i'm going to build a bench over there and yeah it's really junky today so but anyway that's today's project so i'm going to put it on time lapse for a little while um, maybe the whole video i know you guys like my longer format videos but really there isn't much to say here and uh, I'm gonna play some music and YouTube has a fit if there's music in my videos that I didn't create so anyway here we go All right, so that's a heck of a lot cleaner. And by the way, you really shouldn't have all that leaf litter next to a building because it's just a welcome mat for termites. So anyway, uh, you know, shame on me. It's been way too long since I cleaned that up. I've still got a couple pieces of pipe. And in case you're wondering, yeah, I saved my pipe because pipe is stupid expensive. And well, it's easier to save it and reuse it than it is to throw it away and buy it again. So anyway, we're going to build a shelf in here. So I'm going to get started with that. And we're going to go back to time lapse because every two to three minutes, there's a jet landing at Hobby International Airport in Houston, Texas, which I live about two miles from. All right, so I need to secure my ledger board. And the ledger is what the, this bench rests on. And it turns out that I have a batten that runs all the way across here because there's behind this hardy board is, I don't know, what is it, 1 by 12? Oh no, it's, it's, yeah, it's 1 by 12 vertical siding. The hell if I know why they put vertical siding in, but it's secured to 1 by 4s, which is secured to the 2 by 4s. And the 1 by 4s run up along here between two and a half inches and six inches up, which is perfect for a two by four ledger. And let's just kind of get a look-see on what that's gonna look like. So, I can put my bench up here, which is a little bit high, but I think it's still workable, as long as I don't wanna get into those. Those are really going to be in my way. That means they need to be relocated. Alright, 
Let me get my power drill and go back to time lapse.
all right so yesterday i made a little bit of progress and i'm gonna pick up the, the second part of this video so i've got to run water line to the cat litter dispenser and the ice maker and then i've got to arrange drainage for this and then i'm going to build the second um bench so i'm probably going to finish up the water right now and then i'm going to work on the bench so anyway let's uh, go back to move this uh, so what we're going to do is go back to the uh um time lapse because i just don't think there's a whole lot interesting here and we'll go from there i, I think this is just really better as a uh, fast forward video All right, so I've got water to the ice maker. I'm gonna let it drain on the ground again uh, while I figure out how I'm gonna get the plumbing routed. Um, it's been draining on the ground for a few months, so it's not really the end of the world. Uh, in the meanwhile, though, uh, still got some water dripping. Damn it, where's that dripping? Place that washer. shot I just got to get it out of here and when you have shitty water I guess you put pieces of cloth in there Alright, no more leaks. So, I do have an issue with this tipping. So, I'm going to get a flashlight. I'm probably going to drive a screw through that to just hold it down. Let me see how level it is. Yeah. 
so we're just going to drive a screw down through there. have to be a big screw but I do want a head on it. Alright, fuck it. That's not gonna work either because it's too small to fit. Nice number 10 screw. And it will not fit through the hole that's there. because there's a ramp in there that the ice forms on and if it's tilted you're only going to get ice on one side and that'll screw up your production so anyway that's an easy fix let me uh, do something I rarely do and stop and clean up save this because then I can add it to the other 40 cubic yards of shit that I have bought at Home Depot and saved because I thought I'd need it one day. And I'm sure I will.
All right, so that workbench is done. So the only thing I have left to do is some plumbing on uh, the drain side, and I'm not, I haven't made up my mind how I want to do it, so it's not gonna be a today project. Um, the big concern here is I don't want the ice water drain in contact with the sewer. I need to create an air gap because I don't want kitty crunchies to migrate up through the hose um, and, you know, bacteria and stuff. And then that's going to get mounted, but that's not today's project either. It's just going to go back under there and deal with it later. Anyway, this is a big improvement. It will keep stuff off. Uh, it'll get rid of these little tables, and uh, that'll make me a happy camper. And it gives me some place to set crap when I'm working on it back here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy my videos. Uh, as always, comment. Let me know what you think. Good, bad, ugly. Uh, don't be obnoxious. Your comment will get approved. Have a great day.